Hey team, Grant Hagen here with Drone Deploy, joined with Kyle Miller with DJI, and we are super excited to uh, share with you guys some new information about uh, all the exciting things that are coming down the pipeline for 2022 as it relates to drone hardware with DJI. Uh, I'm sure many of you have heard about some exciting stuff already with DJI Doc, which we'll talk a little bit more about today. But wanted to introduce you to Kyle, uh, who's just a good friend and good uh, partner. And so Kyle, thanks for joining in with us. Sure thing. Nice to see you, Grant. And it's always good to be able to work with an old colleague at Drone Employee and be able to work with work with some really good partners. Yeah, this is a really exciting topic. Uh, Kyle's going to walk us through a little bit more about an announcement that came out in March uh, around DJI Doc, which is really flipping this whole idea of uh, data capture from a drone on its head. Uh, really exciting stuff uh, that got announced and really exciting to see uh, this actually in person here later this year, which we'll talk a little bit more about. But we have just a few slides that uh, we're going to go through and kind of give a little bit more of context and background of, of what this is, who it's affecting, how you can get uh, more information about it. Uh, and really, the drone deploy excitement around this platform is really to enhance a lot of the drone programs that many of you are uh, just growing and continuing to do incredible things with. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit more about that as uh, Kyle goes through this. But yeah, I would love to just kind of have you talk a little bit at a high level, Kyle, of uh, Doc as itself for those that maybe have heard or haven't heard about it. And then we'll get into some more of the specifics around it, too. Sure thing. Uh, so the DJI Doc was actually launched the, the same day that the Matrice 30 that was launched. That's the drone that goes inside the Doc. Uh, and I know, Grant, you come from an AEC background. A lot of what I do is, you know, surveying agriculture, AEC. It is pretty obvious how DJI Doc can revolutionize that industry. Just being able to fly over those job sites repeatedly without having a pilot there at all times. But if you look at the sheer amount of use cases that this Doc has, getting into the energy and inspection, the public safety side, I mean, it. It's truly remarkable how far, I believe, that we're going to see these docks and what different types of sites we're going to see these docks in three to four years. It's, it's a heck of a year, man. And uh, we're, we're really excited to really bring these products to market, very mature markets. Yeah, I think what's fun is, uh, you know, five years ago, I'm sure when the two of us were really getting more involved in this idea of drones and how they were being used, I think everyone's kind of had this idea and just like uh, vision around, man, is, is it ever going to be a day that this can just be in some sort of garage or box or thing that can launch and go and, and capture on its own? And that was kind of always this vision, right? And, and now fast forward a little bit into the future and we're here, uh, which is just crazy to think about that, uh, that this is something that I really think is going to change the way that we capture, right? And I think how much more we can capture, the technical abilities of what it can capture, uh, where it's capturing from in remote places that are just really challenging to go travel out to and send a person to. So there's, there's a lot of great stuff here. Uh, the, there really hasn't been a game changing or a huge innovative shift uh, in this space in a really long time. And I think when this got announced and released, uh, there was a lot of buzz around it for good reason. <laughs> and so, yeah, lots to talk about. And really excited to, to dive into uh, some of the specifics that Kyle's going to show here. As you as you know, DJI, we've been building drones, building hardware for quite a, quite a long time. Um, and we really want to bring that reliability back into the market. You know, we just talked about the, the typical job site that you may be flying on or being able to eliminate that pilot. We're not trying to take anything away from us unmanned pilots, but it seems like whenever we go on site, especially when it's construction, it's you make a polygon and where you're going to fly and you hit go. And then the drone flies back and forth and then comes back home and lands. So other than some of the environmental aspects, uh, we think that we can really help automate that. So you can see that on, on this slide here, the drone flying up there at the very top, that's that Matrice 30 that released in March. You can also see a picture of the DJI dock and then a integration via cloud to Flight Hub 2. We'll also talk about how this integrates to drone deploy in just a minute. But ultimately, it's just if you compare the traditional method of being able to go out and survey, whether it's just one site that's small, but in a really remote area or mile, something that's miles and miles long, being able to have a drone that 
with a click of a button at the office hundreds of miles away that you can just initiate and go out and capture the right data comparative to calling a pilot in that area. It's just going to really help make sure critical infrastructure gets covered. Yeah. I think, you know, capture has always been a bottleneck uh, to unlock the potential of what uh, drones can help uh, job sites and all these other different industries in. And, and this just like breaks that whole mode, right? And I think that's what gets really cool about uh, it's not just construction, which is uh, some of our background. There's so many other applications to this um, that I think you'll you'll start to see and, and hopefully get even more creative around is, hey, where can we put these? Where does it make the most sense? Uh, and how do we leverage the uh, this new reality of, uh, hey, I can go and just deploy this whenever need be and don't need to have a physical person there? Yeah, that's what I'm excited about is to see the potential shift a little bit on workflows. We're not here to completely change up a drone program's workflow, but when you have something that's capturing data all the time of that same site comparative to then having those drone pilots focus on those one-off flights, it's, you know, there's going to be a lot of hand-holding between true drone pilots, docks, as well as depending on what the environments look like. Um, but when it comes to environments, you know, DJI, reliability wise, you know, there's, we really wanted to bring something to the market that you don't have to think about. You just hit go and it goes. And there are plenty of other platforms out there over the past four or five years that we've talked about kind of those dreams of having a fully autonomous drone. And those, a lot of those companies have been really groundbreaking and being able to help get policies going and being able to get drones out on those job sites. Um, but just imagine what happens when you have someone that makes the amount of drones we do, the amount of docks uh, that we're able to actually roll out reliability wise, this thing's going to be a beast. Yeah. And what's, what's crazy about this is I'm sure many of the folks that are watching uh, have used a DJI drone uh, or have some sort of experience with uh, a DJI product. I think what's really fun about this is Hey, we're, we're only taking that to the next level, right? I mean, when you think about new challenges like it being waterproof and day and night Apple, like, and just security, I mean, this is going to live and br uh, breathe on a site. Uh, there's just new yeah. challenges that come to this. And it's really uh, encouraging to know, like DJI is obviously known for reliability in a lot of ways. And so just to take that into another category uh, with this doc is going to be really exciting to see. So yeah, I appreciate you kind of highlighting some of these uh, just to get folks a little bit more informed of, hey, th this isn't just something that <laughs> you you hit a button, hope that works. Uh, you hit a button and you know that works. And that's a really big, uh, big part of, I think, the DJI brand of what a lot of customers have been accustomed to. Yeah. And with how uh, enterprise level or commercial level this product is, we, we're definitely going through those processes and procedures of beta testing and making sure this product is super mature for when we do more of a wide scale rollout. And I know we've talked quite a bit about DJI and reliability and just kind of what DJI is known for, but being able to have a dock that you can just load up in the back of a pickup, it's fairly portable. Now we will talk about what type of job site we would like this on, but you know, it's very, it's very simple. It's something that's transportable. It can get out there for, for that job site fairly quickly. And other than a minimal survey of that job site and then needing some power in either uh, LTE or ethernet connection, being able to transfer that data. Uh, it's just, it's quick, it's simple. It's very much plug one button, push and play. Yeah, I think the exciting part about this is you start to think about enhancing uh, the drone programs that are out there and mature and see the value of using a, a piece of equipment like this. I mean, imagine moving these things around from a job site to the next job site and, and portability isn't necessarily one of the main things that needs to be here, but it is a big part of it. And I think, uh, you know, we're all used to backpack sized drones and things that we can carry and move around. It's not that this is completely on the other end of the spectrum, but also gives that same portability of saying, Hey, we know that this may get used over multiple jobs, over multiple months in different ways like that. So yeah, helpful to kind of see some of these specs of the size, the weight, kind of where and how it's going to fit uh, and what, again, what it's going to look like on a job site uh, that uh, you're looking to put it on. 
Yeah. And the, I would say the goal for what we kind of wanted to release a doc for is we weren't going for the, the super transportable, being able to just set up the doc and then a week later, move it a week later, move it. Cause ultimately the pilot's probably going to be able to do that one off these the DJI doc is really meant to be for those sites minimum of about six months, you know, 12 months, 24 months, typical AEC civil construction timelines, or even longer if it's something that you just need to monitor that substation site for years on end. Mm -hmm. uh, that's more of the goal. But like you said, if it takes, you know, if you can load it up in the back of a pickup rather than having to put it on the back of a flatbed to move the thing, mm -hmm. uh, you can just kind of pick and choose which sites you're going to have it on. And it just makes it way easier. Yeah. Well said. Yeah. Definitely uh, helpful to kind of get that in context too. Uh, and again, you'll be able to see this here by the end of the year and get some context of someone standing next to it and what that kind of looks like. And there's some good content out there to kind of show it already in the back of a truck, but yeah, super helpful to know. Right. Cause I think, there are other applications out there uh, and it's helpful to know kind of where this fits within some of the other uh, options that are out there in the market. Yeah, just to kind of finish up uh, a couple more slides that we really want to touch on, especially because Grant, we've got, uh, we've got your team, we've got Drone Deploy here. When you're going out and capturing that data with a DJI dock and the Matrice 30, we have a flight integration called Flight Hub 2 that's going to be able to help maintain all of your fleet management for these docks, being able to see the live stream video feed from the dock, as well as the drone while it's on a mission, being able to plan missions, waypoints, uh, you know, being able to capture the data that you need to, that can all be done with Flight Hub 2, at least with version one. Um, but the important thing is, is we don't want to completely flip your workflow completely upside down and make you have to go with our specific ecosystem. And so while we're flying it and capturing data with Flight Hub 2, uh, one of the important things is we also wanted to release a cloud section. So we're not just releasing hardware. We're not just releasing a new software package with Flight Hub 2 to be able to capture this. But we are also releasing that cloud API so that companies, clients, partners like you guys are able to really build into it. So when that data is captured, it all goes right next to the data that maybe some other pilots have already captured. Uh, we don't want to, once again, we don't want to mess up that workflow. Yeah. And it's important to note here too, this is again, a little bit diving more into the details of, of how the partnership between drone deploy and DJI is really happening. And, and right now that happens at a local level with APIs for us to be able to use uh, the drones that you're probably capturing with today. But uh, a new piece of equipment like this just brings new ideas and challenges, right? So you're operating this from the cloud, you're uh, uh, controlling it remotely in a lot of different ways. And so again, that cloud API is really where uh, this partnership becomes a reality, right? And what functions yep. and how we can control it just from the drone deploy customer experience. You know, I think Kyle said this earlier, you know, we're not flipping over drone programs to say, hey, use this new uh, software and workflow. We, we really want to come alongside the mature programs that are out there and just the new and uh, upcoming programs that are coming up with using these tools and saying, hey, here's the drone deploy experience. You plan your flight, that gets pushed out to the dock. It goes and captures, it comes back, it uploads to drone deploy and processes as, as if you were out there uh, doing that capture. And so how that happens is really through this cloud API, which is, is really where <laughs> there's so many people on the back end for Kyle and for our team here at drone deploy that, that really are making this happen. Uh, and so it is really exciting to see just how uh, this is really going to enable more of these uh, just functions and features that, again, the drone deploy side uh, of our customers are used to and where DJI's uh, partners are really excited to be able to work and integrate with it as well. And that's a good point, Grant. You know, if anyone is really itching to find out more about both the dock, the hardware, and how this integration with the dock and drone deploy is all going to work together, you know, there's going to be a perfect opportunity in October for you to be able to see that. I'm going to do a quick little plug here for for Airworks, our conference, uh, our October 10th through 12th in Vegas. We were able to uh, get flight clearance to be able to go out and start capturing data, even with the dock. And so if you want to see that, go out, work, actual real life job, and then talk about how, understand how drone deploys building into that cloud API, 
so that all of your data is going to just seamlessly flow back into drone deploy i would highly encourage you to to visit airworks and grant you've been to a couple airworks before is that correct yeah and i, I would just say as yeah i've been really fortunate to to be out there uh, kind of just build a, a bigger network of really just folks that are in the industry that are as equally as excited as if, if you've been watching this video for as long as you have to hear about some of this i can imagine uh, you're probably one of those people and uh, having been and just met really great people in the industry it really personalizes it i think a lot of the education that uh, folks like us do are usually in offices like this or trying to kind of do it in our own. And, and any time that you can go connect with more people, it's just a huge win. Uh, and so I'll be there. Uh, Kyle obviously will be there. We would love to meet you guys in person uh, just to talk through some of these things in more detail if you're really interested. But yeah, highly encourage you if you have the time and margin to make it out. Uh, you, you won't regret it. It's a really good opportunity uh, that I think you'll come back leaving more informed than you were uh, when you came. Yeah, and uh, I'll also be stopping by a good old drone to play conference happening a week before Airworks uh, down in Texas. So anyone that's anyone that's listening, I would say highly suggest going to DDC and Airworks if you just want a really good understanding of where the drone industry is. Yeah, well said. So DDC, our drone deploy user conference is that week before Airworks. Uh, really excited. It'll be uh, local here where I'm at in Dallas, Texas. Uh, and really excited to host um, just that event for a lot of folks to come and really experience and see some of these partnerships and how they play out uh, with some of our uh, customers that have gotten a ton of value uh, out of utilizing them. So, uh, Kyle, really, really, really thankful uh, that you would take the time uh, and go through all these things. Uh, 2022 is just a huge year with so much stuff going on. Uh, and we're really excited to be able to partner more with DJI and really put this out for you guys uh, in the industry that are really excited as much as we are uh, to go through some of this stuff. So, Kyle, thanks so much for taking the time. Appreciate it and uh, look forward to seeing you at Airworks. Sure thing. See you there. Thanks, team.